वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम अ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विद अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोस फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी आल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस let us continue to watch our today's video so in today's video we are going to talk about concept of impulse and reaction turbine so before understanding that let me tell you uh, many of our viewers are asking question on this so that is why we have taken this as a topic uh, for today's video and uh, before going into it i just wanted to give you a high level view of how a uh, steam turbine major components look like and uh, uh, if you want to understand the impulse and reaction concept you should uh, essentially understand few things that we will see in this image so here if you see this is a you know large uh, steam turbine uh, setup where uh, the Uh, the this part which is essentially a rotor uh, everybody can see it and now here are it is placed in a casing so this is you know bottom casing so like uh, there are two part of it one is bottom casing and the upper half would be top casing which is right now removed to uh, uh, have a inspection of this machine or maybe some maintenance so now if you see uh, there are two sections of it one is you know there are smaller size of blades maybe the, this one is little different and then uh, slowly the size is increasing and you can also see there are certain you know gaps so if you see this is one set of uh, blade which is mounted on the rotor so as the rotor rotates this blade will rotate and there is a some gap here in between so what will happen here in this gap there will be some static blades which we call as a nozzle so here this uh, rotating blades will be called as a bucket and this static uh, uh, the static one will be called as nozzle so these are two uh, component nozzles are fixed in the in top casing and bottom casing while the buckets are mounted on the rotor so what happens if let's say i am talking about uh, steam flow so here in the uh, the this is the direction of steam flow as initially there will be high pressure and temperature so there will be you know uh, high energy in the steam so with the small blades also you can you know withdraw that energy and then uh, the slowly the steam and the pressure and temperature goes and the volume increases so to to uh, get that you uh, know energy as a you know extraction from the total steam the surface area of the blades has to increase so that they extract the right amount of energy from the steam so this is how it is i just wanted to tell you the concept of nozzles and bucket from this image and how different blades look like and this this particular the different blade which you are seeing this will be your you know impulse uh, stage uh, and uh, uh, there may be in different machines that certain certain sections are uh, you know impulse and certain sections are uh, reaction that kind of uh, uh definitely uh, thing will be there which is called compounding of you know steam turbine so practically you will not be able to you know see and feel the difference of uh, which is impulse and which is reaction so uh, let us try to understand in next slide how this uh, theoretical what is the difference and how uh, it is so in this slide if we discuss uh, uh, there are two types you can see the diagram here so here this is a impulse type and the second one is the reaction type and uh, why it is called impulse you can you know uh, have a clue from the name itself 
so this kind of you know uh, machine is you know where you you hit on the uh, blade and there is a you know reaction to it and then blade starts moving in the direction and then you have another hit on the blade and then it start keeps moving so this type uh, as the name is saying because of this uh, impulse this turbine is moving and how it happens there is a you know a nozzle here uh, it is which what it does it is taking the high pressure steam and converting that high pressure into high velocity so this high pressure steam which is entering into the turbine from the boiler this this after exit from uh, you know your uh, nozzle what will happen the the pressure the pressure will drop and the velocity will increase so what this impulse turbine is doing it is essentially utilizing that velocity of steam to convert the you know rotational uh, speed of rotor so it is taking kinetic energy uh, from the speed of uh, incoming steam and converting that into angular motion or a rotational speed of the rotor so it this is how it is designed uh, to take uh, advantage of high pressure uh, increase the velocity use this velocity to impinge on the turbine blades and in turn you get a rotational speed so as you see this is uh, utilizing a high pressure you know steam to get the velocity so this can happen while the turbine is you know using very high pressure steam or if you want to utilize this uh, in a um, uh, setup where you do impulse plus reaction turbine setup so you must have this in the first few stages where you have high steam pressure so that is how you can understand wherever in the modern setup you will have uh, impulse turbine it has to be there in the first stay first few stages so uh, that is how impulse and reaction turbine as the name suggests uh, uh, like this image if you can see there is steam which is entering into the these two pipes and exiting in this uh, way this way this pattern so as it exit this way definitely it will have a force on the this uh, wheel to move in this direction and similarly the other side is also exit on this side so it will also try to move on this side but this is a concept actually essentially nothing like this in turbine uh, happens like uh, practically you will not see any 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 of this kind of setup in the practical turbine so uh, this has to be you know uh, noted otherwise uh, if you find any inspection uh, in turbine which is open for inspection and you are trying to look for this kind of setup you will not find it so it is for your understanding ultimately how it happens is you know there are uh, what we saw in the previous image there are you know uh, nozzles which will guide which will guide how to you know land the steam on the right angle for the rotating blade so that you are not going to uh, make you know considerable losses or minimize the losses and in turn it will it will uh, try to you know give you a impact that okay uh, it will glide on it will glide on this uh, reaction blade and then in turn you will have a uh, opposite direction force which will try to push the turbine in the rotation of direction so this is how uh, these uh, pressure and velocity uh, differences so whatever is the pressure pressure goes down and the velocity increases it is same like in the uh, impulse uh, turbine so that is happening in this part and then once there is a uh, you know it is uh, passing through rotating blades their pressure will also drop and the velocity will also drop so this is how it is happening in this stage so there are certain differences uh, which are listed down here uh, on the left side that okay uh, how it is you know uh, it is utilizing the uh, kinetic energy uh, on the mostly on uh, your uh, impulse turbine side and uh, uh, basically these are theoretical stuff which uh, you can just understand to have a 
concept in your mind but practically uh, in a modern day uh, turbine setup you will find a mix of impulse and reaction turbine in uh, all the setup where uh, it will have impulse stages in the beginning and the reaction stages in the uh, rear end of the turbine. So let us summarize this case and here what we are talking about is principally how impulse turbine and reaction turbines are different and uh, how a modern day turbine utilizes a mix of uh, both technologies so that it can you know try to get the best uh, efficiency out of it as well as try to maintain the right speed uh, also as the uh, compounding of steam turbine is you know uh, re for regulation of right speed because in power generation you may have you know uh, close to 3000 rpm of speed which is essentially uh, for uh, the frequency setup so uh, it is uh, kind of you know uh, the thing like similar concept is utilized in wind turbine as well where wind turbine is trying to utilize the kinetic energy which is coming on its blade from the air it tries to use that impact also for uh, rotation of uh, the blades as well as it is trying to utilize the piece of energy which is uh, just leaving the edge of the turbine blades so that is where also that is where uh, the wind turbine also utilizes these two things where the initial thrust on the uh, uh, turbine blades are a kind of impulse uh, type of uses whereas once the air leaves the leading edge of the turbine blade it is a kind of reaction uh, type of uh, you know energy exchange and uh, uh, this is how in a normal uh, modern day the right choice of turbine stages and number of you know blades are being calculated to have a uh, good blend of uh, speed efficiency and pressure combinations. This is how uh, basically impulse and reaction turbine we can classify. If you have any question uh, we can definitely we can discuss that in comment section. Thank you. Thank you very much.